Good morning guys, welcome back. I'm at Sovereign Hill today in Melbourne. No it's not, it's in Ballarat. Uh, I'll have to find out prices a little bit later. It's very cold here today, I think about seven degrees. Uh, we're gonna wander around, have a look. Never been here before, so don't really know what to expect. So let's just turn the camera around and go and have a look. There's your pricing there for the winter wonder lights. Um, it does change back to different pricing once this is over. It's been raining today so the streets are mud and a little bit slippery so we've got to be careful. Um, looks really nice. Like you can see that lady there is all dressed up in her uh, period clothing. We're going to go into a few of these places and actually have a look. We just walked into the bakery and oh my goodness, the smell in there is unbelievable. Beautiful. Uh, in this building here you can get your old time photographs. It is an additional cost. You can uh, dress up in the style of costumes that they wore back in the day and have your picture taken. We're inside the lolly shop. There's the raspberries. That jar is massive for $26. But it's a lot more than just the raspberry ones. There's heaps here. And the prices look fairly reasonable. Uh, $1.50 for a uh, candy apple. Big variety, big variety. But that's, that's what we'll be getting. Getting one of those, because the jar looks pretty cool. These, these jars look pretty cool. So we'll get one of them a bit later. The old stagecoach up the main road. Big horses. Bit of live music happening out the front of the uh, post office. From what I understand, this is the meant to resemble the 1850s. Speaking from experience, I wasn't around in the 1850s, so I don't know, but uh, looks pretty old. You can go on a, on a uh, coach tour through the main streets of Sovereign Hill. Have a look at the big Clydesdales, massive. Massive horses. There's the gold prices, guys, from the 1850s. Three, three pound. Wow. Wish you had a border heat back then, eh? inside the old theatre. Oh, upstairs is like the boxes. <laughs> oh no, Jake has swallowed up the ship and drowned. What a cry, Shane. I'm real proud about it. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Oi! Get that back, that's my This story. is uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, 1950s style. Surely we can make some kind of arrangement. <laughs> And then upstairs in here is uh, more seating as well. That's how that used to be in the day. Have a look at the old dining room in here. Wow. The lights, the artwork, marble pillars, gold around the top. Unbelievable. It's a pretty cool chair, even though it's uh, from the 1850s. That's pretty cool. I'd like one these days. Here's the old uh, ho hotel room accommodation. This one doesn't look too bad. It's quite a large room. That bed is very, very small. If we go over this side, you got four beds in this one. Really tiny. Really tiny. I'm only guessing there's no signage or anything, but I dare say this is an old church slash chapel. Extremely interesting walking around here. So here's a look around the park. 
we're standing up on top of the old gold mine. There's the tracks there. I'm guessing the dirt came up that tower. They tipped it onto the train lines here and this is all your tailings. So it'd probably be a good place to dig through all this. You might find uh, might find some old gold that they left behind. This place is massive. It is so much bigger than what I expected. We found the coffin maker. It was a very busy person back in the 1850s. They're very small, tiny, tiny. The old horse-drawn carts that they used to put the coffins in. I'm guessing only uh, rich people would have. Uh, I'm guessing only rich people would have one of these. It'd be fairly expensive to have this done back in the day. We're at the well, and I don't know if this is water or where they were digging. Wow, can you smell it? The, the smell is, it's a weird smell coming up out of this hole. And oh my God, it is. Man, it'd have to be a good 50, 60 meters down there. We're about to go and do the underground mine tour. It goes for about 45 minutes and costs $8 per adult. Uh, don't know how well the camera will go down there because I'm guessing it'll be fairly dark but I'll get the phone out and see see if I can record on that rather than the phone. Quite looking forward to this. Should be really, really interesting. That's how the old miners used to get down in the shaft. Uh, used to get lowered up and down on that. We're catching a train down. So it, it, this train's held on by big cable and this is what's lowering us down into the mine. Um, we're about to hop in, it gets completely dark, cross our fingers and see how we go. Uh, we just finished doing the underground mine tour, well worth $8 per person. Too dark down there to film, uh, would not recommend it if you're claustrophobic or afraid of the dark, but if you're none of those, fantastic, pay the $8, go down. Absolute rabbit warren down there so many tunnels everywhere this is the gold panning area here at Sovereign Hill it does not cost you anything it's all included in the price you just uh, have to go to the tent down the bottom there to get your gold pan and then you dig your dirt out of the middle and wash it in the pan whatever you find you keep could you imagine spending your life living in there all you do is eat drink and dig for gold the red coats are marching Yes, they were loud. <laughs> we're down in the Chinese area of Sovereign Hill and it looks like they lived a little bit better. Like there's still tents there with the canvas but there's also um, timber houses with, they've got chimneys and everything so they would have been nice and warm inside there. You can see these little holes everywhere. They're mines, uh, vent shafts down into the mines. Uh, if you do the mine tour, you'll see just how many of these there are. You can, you can look up and see daylight out of a lot of them. It's 
couple of big quartz boulders. It's what they've been looking for to find the gold. Could be gold in there if you smash it open, I guess. There's a lovely kids' playground out here. Uh, that slide looks pretty awesome. Slide in a fort. Plenty of photo opportunities up there. You can hop in the old Cobb & Co coach. Hop on the Clydesdales, have your photo taken. And then there's a beautiful big uh, pirate ship. What a great place this is. And it's pretty cheap. I think it was $53 for the Winterfest tickets. Um, sorry. I think it was $53 for the Winter Wonder Lights tickets. Um, but when this festival isn't on, it's cheaper. One other really good thing about this place here in winter is they have these fire pits everywhere. So you can uh, just stand around here, warm up a little bit before you go uh, walking again. They've got candles here which you can purchase and dip them yourselves to make fancy colours. As you can see that one there is a rough candle which was six dollars and five bucks for the smooth one. And now the lights get switched on and it's starting to snow. Wow. How pretty. All the lights are on now. Wow. Here are the pins. Oh, there's only nine pins. Shouldn't there be ten? Ah, oh, nine. All right, here we go. Let's see how good this goes. That's coming with a bit of force. It's going to stop. It's only just going to make it. Oh, oh. What's he hit? One. <laughs> And then to return the ball, you drop it in the middle here and, and it sometimes rolls all the way. Is it gonna keep going? Yes, it's, no, it's slowing down. It's not gonna make it. This is a really, really cool overlay that they have going down here. The light show, snow everywhere. Beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. Freezing, but really really nice all right guys there you go sovereign hill what a great place to come uh, check their website for prices because not a hundred percent sure what it is after the winter wonder lights festival is finished all right hope you enjoyed a look at that something a little bit different today and uh, I'll see you again shortly with another one Hooroo.